God always, now and ever, in the new ages of ages. Glory to thee, O our God, glory to thee, O heaven, the King, comforter, the spirit of truth, who art in all places and filleth all things, treasury of good things and the giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, <coughs> have mercy, and have mercy, and have mercy on us. Holy God, have mercy, and have mercy, and have mercy on us. Holy God, have mercy, and have mercy, and have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All of eternity, have mercy on us. The Lord cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, listen and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Saba and all our brotherhood in Christ. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and in thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in highest, and on earth, peace, good will toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, good will toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, good will toward men. O Lord, open now my lips, and my mouth shall give forth your praise. O Lord, open now my lips, and my mouth shall give forth your praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me, many rise up against me, many stand in my soul, there is no salvation for any of God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept, I woke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be a day to come down from the people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast made an army without counting mine enemies. The people sinners have thou broken salvation, and built the Lord, and have judgment upon thy people. I laid me down and slept, I woke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor take from me in thy wrath, for thine arrows have passed in with me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For my iniquities are risen higher than thy head, as they have stirred me, as they press heavily upon me. My bruises have become noise to me, corruption the days of my folly. I have been rich and utterly bowed down into the air, and all the day long I have been beat on press days. For my loins 
to build your confidence in there is knowing who your teammates are. And I pray for them on their receiving there and their team joining in their life. Oh, Lord, be forth your zone in the sky and my zone in the salvation game. My heart is troubled. My strength has failed me in the light of my eyes. Even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh, O Lord, my hand stood, and my ears said, Change to the far off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evil for me spake vain things. And craftiness is all the day long that they meditate. But as for me, I possess none, I heard them not, and I'm not as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that hears not, and that hath in his mouth no reproof. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were taken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrows continue to be for me. For I will declare my iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sins. But mine enemies live and remain stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good flatter me because I do good goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord, my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord, my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I write early, yet thou, my soul, hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee, and thine barren, and untrodden, and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life, and I will accept thy reproof. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up thine hand. As with myrrh and sadness let my style, my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul is pleased after thee, thy right hand hath been good to help me. But as for these in vain have they sought after my soul, they shall go into their nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword, portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, everyone shall be praised that dwelleth by him. For the mouth of them that stop they speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper in the shelter of thy wings, will I rejoice. My soul is pleased after thee, thy right hand hath been good to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, let the earth shine in thy might before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, that on thine hand for my supplication. That thou wilt devote with my soul, my life, and the ages that draw nigh. I am counted as one that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without hope, being among the dead. Like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, and thou makest no more my cut off from thy hand. I wait in the Lord to put a darkness and in the shadow of death against me, thy anger may come, and all thy blows that shall fall upon me. Thou hast redeemed my friends of far from the grave, and the abomination of Abram's law. I have been delivered up, and will not come forth. Mine eyes have run in from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. And I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Mercy, therefore, thou wilt wonder to salvation. Grace and mercy bring me forth unto thee. Nay, shall thy wonders be known in thy darkness, and thy righteousness, and thy land that is forgotten. But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, lift up thy self my soul, and send thyself to the salvation of me. O poor man am I, and in trouble for my youth, who having been exalted, I have humbled and brought to distress. Thy fury is a fast upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water all the day long, and compassed me about together. Thou hast removed the far from the friends and neighbor, my inheritance is because of unbelievers. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day thy shine, and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he has done for thee. He is gracious unto all thy iniquities, he healeth all thy infirmities. He redeemeth thy life from corruption, and crowns thee with mercy and compassion. He fulfilleth thy desires with things and deeds for the iniquity of the evil. The Lord performs deeds of mercy and mixed peace judgment for all them that are wrong. He has made his ways known in the most tender of sons of Israel like unto the of God. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering with righteous and mercy. Not unto the anger of the end, or the youth that are unto the eternity of evil. Not according to our iniquities have we dealt with us, neither according to our sins have we rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord has made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he moved our iniquities from us. Like as a father has compassion upon his son, so has the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him, saying, Lord, do I fear him? He has remembered that we are dust. As for man, he gave you as the grass of the flower of the field, so he dwells in the earth. 
when we cross over them shall be gone, no longer will they say for us. For the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, and the mercy of the Son is from upon them, which are the hand of God, which comes upon the Father's Son, upon them which is the testament and under his commandment to keep them. The Lord in heaven has declared his power and his kingdom and rules over all. Bless the Lord, O his angels, mighty and strength of song, and glory to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, O his work, all his hosts, speaking the voice of his will. Bless the Lord, O his work, and his hosts, speaking the name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and every soul, speaking the name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give me answer my supplication, and grant to me health and mercy, and my life is in the hands of mountains of darkness and for saving. Turn my sight from my enemies, justify. Give me any afflicted of my soul, who come my life down to the grave, who sat in the darkness of grave, who long that I must be able to be to come upon me. Give me my heart is troubled, and I make way to them that meditate again. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father, Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, its president, all civil authorities, and armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land and by air and by sea, the sick, the suffering, captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance for all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Lord, unto thee are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Come and see about, but in the name of the Lord their light 
Etike eti iridini tu kiriu de isomen. Ande labu soson ileson ke diafilaxon i maso teos tisi hariti. Dis panegia sacrantu i preflogi menes in doxo de spini simon teotoku carperta partenu maria. Meta pandon ton agion minimon efsan desi aftos ke alilos ke pasan tin zoin imon Christos o teo para to meta. the majesty and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The eyed men bearing women glanced into the entrance of the tomb and because they could not bear the brilliance of the angel they trembled in astonishment saying had he been stolen who opened paradise to the thief or is he risen up who before his passion did preach resurrection Verily, Christ God hath risen, granting resurrection and life to those who are needy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast suffered crucifixion willingly, O Savior, and mortal men placed in a new tomb, thee who didst establish the corners of the world with a word. Therefore hath death, the stranger, been bound, and taken captive, being defeated. And all those in Hades cried out through thy reviving resurrection, Verily, Christ, the life-giver, is risen, for he is everlastingly constant, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thy betrothed and guardian, O Theotokos, when he beheld thy supernatural conception without seed, was amazed and perplexed. But he recalled to his mind the rain falling on the fleece of wool and the bush burning with fire but not consumed. And he testified before the priest, crying, a virgin at giving birth after remaining virgin. Thou didst rise from the tomb, O Christ, Savior, our God, because thou art deathless. And thou didst raise with thee thy world by thy resurrection, didst crush the might of death, proclaiming resurrection to all. Wherefore do we glorify thee, O thou who alone art merciful and the lover of mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Gabriel descended from his sublime height, wrapped in a white robe, and came to the stone where the rock of life was. And he shouted to the weeping women, saying, Cease your wailing and crying, and receive ye smiling joy with comfort. For he whom ye seek weeping is verily risen. Wherefore, go and proclaim to the apostles that the Lord is risen. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. All the ranks of the angels, O thou who art undefiled, have been dazzled by the secret of thy dreadful birth giving, that the all-encompassing at a sign from him was encompassed in thy bosom as a babe and that he who is before eternity received a temporal beginning, and that he who feedeth every living breath with his ineffable goodness is nourished with milk. Wherefore did they glorify thee with praise, for thou art truly the Theotokos. 
Paki mirom gospodu pomolim sia. Zastupi spasi pomiluj i sokrani naš Bože te vojeju blagodatiu. Presjatuju, prečistuju, preblagoslovenuju, slavnuju vladičicu našu do Bogorodicu i priznoju jevu Mariju so sjemi sjatimi pamijanuši sami sjevi drug druga i veš Наш Христо Богу предадим. Тебе, Господи. For blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The ointment bearing women hastened running to the apostles and related to them the account of thy resurrection, O Christ saying, Thou hast risen because Thou art God, granting the world Thy mercy. When many sufferings from my youth combat me, though Thou, my Savior, assist and save me, O ye haters of Zion, depart in shame from before the Lord, for ye shall be dry by fire as the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit, every treasure shall live and shall be purified, ascending in brilliance through the one hidden and pure Trinity. 
to thee, O Lord, have I cried fervently from the depths of my soul. Let thy divine ears listen to me. All those who have placed their trust in the Lord shall transcend all sorrows. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Verily, the Holy Spirit doth overflow with streams and passages of grace, and doth water all creation with refreshing life. Let my heart rise to thee, O Lord, and let not the pleasures of the world enter into me to vie with the earthly life. And as each of us hath surpassing love to his mother, the more should we love the Lord with utmost fervor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit cometh the riches of divine knowledge, divine vision, and wisdom. For through him the word doth proclaim all the commandments of the Father. Arise, O God, help us and redeem us for thy name's sake. Arise, O God, help us and redeem us for thy name's sake. O God, with our own ears have we heard. Arise, O God, help us and redeem us for thy name's sake. Let us pray. To the Lord. Lord have mercy. For holy art thou, O our God, who restest in the holy place. Unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us attend. At that time, Peter rose and ran to the tomb. Stooping and looking in, he saw the linen clothes by themselves, and he departed, wondering at what had happened. At that very day, two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all the things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What is this conversation which you are holding with each other as you walk and are said? Then one of them named Cleophas answered him, Are you only a stranger in Jerusalem? And do you not know the things that have happened here in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said to him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. And they came back saying that seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. And Jesus said to them, O foolish men, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, 
He interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So they drew near to the village which they were going. Jesus appeared to be going further, but they constrained him, saying, Stay with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is now far spent. And he went to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said to each other, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem. And they found the eleven together, and those who were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he was known to them in the breaking of the bread. Thy cross do we adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee. We call upon thy name, O come, all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross his joy comes into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he endured the cross for us, he hath destroyed death by death. Without blessed and 
God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all immaculate lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life giving cross. By the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the, of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy glorious all audible apostles, and foremost of the apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our fathers among the saints, Athanasio, Cyril, and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra in Lycia, Spiritum of Trimitios and Nectarios of Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, Nikolai of Zicha, who labored in America, Innocent the Evangelizer of Alaska and Tikhon Patriarch of Moscow, Enlightener of North America, John the Wonder Worker of Shanghai and San Francisco, and Raphael Bishop of Brooklyn, of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George the Trophy Bearer, Demetrios the Mirror Streaming, Theodore the Soldier, Theodore the General, and Minas the Wonder Worker. Of the higher martyrs, Ignatius, the god bearer of Antioch, Paralampos and Eleftherios, and Juvenali of Iliamna, of the holy, glorious, and great women martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of the holy, glorious, right, victorious martyrs, especially Peter the Aleut, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers who shone in the ascetic life, Anthony the Great, Seraphim Seraph, Herman of Alaska, and especially Paisios of Athos, through the grace of the holy transfiguration of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the higher martyr Pancratios, Bishop of Teromina in Sicily, Venerable Photios, Venerable, Venerable Dionysios the Orator, first settler of, of small Saint Anskeet on Athos, and his disciple, Venerable Metrophanes, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, we beseech the only merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. the mercy and compassions and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thou hast my deliverer and mighty Savior raised the earthborn from the grave and from their bonds, since he is God, and he has crushed Hades' brazen gates, and is arisen on the third day as sovereign Lord. And is arisen on the third day as sovereign Lord. Let us, the earthborn, all praise Christ, the giver of life, who is risen from the dead on the third day out of the grave, and has shattered the gates of death today by his own power. He has put Hades to death, broken the sting of death, and freed Adam together with Eve. In gratitude, let us cry out our praise with fervor, for as the only mighty God, he is arisen on the third day as sovereign Lord. He is arisen on the third day as sovereign Lord. On July 9th, in the Holy Orthodox Church, we commemorate the High Martyr Pancratios, Bishop of Toromene in Sicily, and disciple of the Holy Apostle Peter. Pancratios, having spread himself as the foundation 
raised upon it a house from the stones of its contest. On the night Pancratius saw the house of the Almighty. The saint was born in Antioch during the time when the Lord Jesus Christ walked as a man on earth. Hearing about the miracles of Christ, the parents of Pancratius desired to see the Lord. Together with Pancratius, they traveled to Jerusalem where they saw Jesus, heard his words, and witnessed his miracles. While there, Pancratius met the Apostle Peter. After the ascension of the Lord, both parents and Pancratius were baptized in Antioch. Later, the Apostle Peter and Paul appointed Pancratius as the Bishop of Theomena in Sicily, where he worked many miracles, destroying the idols, baptized the unbaptized, strengthened the baptized, and governed well the Church of God. A heathen commander of Tullinus heard the entire city of Theomena become Christian became Christian and set out with an army to destroy it. Pancratius went with the clergy outside the city, carrying the invincible weapon, the Honorable Cross. When the army approached the city, darkness befell them, and the soldiers were overcome with great fear. Confused, the attackers turned against one another and slaughtered each other. In the end, Pancratius was stoned to death by impious and evil heathens and found rest in the Lord. On this day, we also commemorate the martyrs Andrew and Proclus. <coughs> by the intercession through thy saints, O Christ God, have mercy upon us. Amen. <coughs> I shall open my mouth and it will be filled with the Spirit. And I shall speak forth to the Queen and Mother. I shall be singing joyfully, singing her praises, and I shall delight to sing of her wonders. As the living and copious fountain of Theotokos, do thou strengthen those who in thy praises, and are joined together in a spiritual company for thy servants, and in thy divine glory. Make them worthy of crowns of glory. He who sits in clouds of glory upon the throne of the Godhead, Jesus, the Lord of thy God, came with mighty hand and saved those who cried out unto him. Glory to thy power, O Christ. All creation was amazed at thy divine glory. For thou Despair the eternal son who rewards with salvation all who in thy praises as we the godly minded shall the praises sacred and the honorable be of the mother of God. Come, let us clap our hands together and glorify the God whom she holds. The godly minded children. Mother of the light, let us honor and magnify in song. My soul does magnify the Lord, and my spirit does rejoice in God, my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious be unto fair than the cherubim. Thou who in a corruption service held the way, and 
Más y más en paz roguemos al Señor. Amparanos, sálvanos, ten misericordia y protégenos, oh Dios, por tu gracia. Conmemorando a nuestra Santísima, Budi, Purísima, Bendita y Gloriosa Señora Madre de Dios y siempre Virgen María. Junto con todos los santos, encomendémonos a nosotros mismos, los unos a los otros, y toda nuestra vida entera a Cristo nuestro Dios. Amen. For all the powers of heaven praise thee and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages.
has shown us the light. Glory be to God on high and on earth, peace and goodwill among men. the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who has taken away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, tell us our prayer, thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Blessing, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praise and glorify be thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. For thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I have been merciful unto thee in my soul. to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see light. Oh, continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Blesses our God always the way of the way. Amen. Pray for me, Holy Master. Lord, direct thy steps into every one of me, Holy Master. The Lord God, remember me. Thy priest of the Lord God, remember me. Always now and ever and into the age of the ages. Amen. The Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. 
O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, its president, all civil authorities, and our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For helpful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance for all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life unto Christ our God. and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us give you your praise to the Lord for the chances of thy labor of all time. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Let the day and the morning thy mercy seem in thy truth to abide in your through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Most righteous, O Lord, our God, and there is no one like this who will save thee. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance for all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Glory, O Lord. Thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, this King, you have clothed with majesty, the Lord is clothed with strength, and he has girded himself. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing to thee. Alleluia. For you established the world, it shall not be shaken. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing to thee, alleluia. Holiness becomes thy house, O Lord, and thy ranks are the peace. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing to thee, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, who art immortal, who for our salvation will to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, who without change became man. And was crucified, O Christ our God, and trampled down death by death, who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance for all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Glory, O Lord. Thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. to the Lord, let us shout with jubilation and be glad our Savior. Master, the holy entrance is the entrance of the holy place, Lord, always now. The message of the resurrection of the angels, the women disciples of the Lord, has condemned their parental condemnation, and proudly broke the news to the disciples, saying, Death has been spoiled. Christ God is risen, resting the world's great mercy. Wisdom, stand upright. Wisdom, let us worship and fall down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who art risen from the dead. 
generation of Christians that cannot be put to shame. Mediation unto the Creator most constant. Oh, despise not the suppliant voices of those who have sinned. But be thou quick, O good one, to come unto our aid, who in faith cry unto thee. Haste unto intercession, and speed thou to make supplication. Thou who dost ever protect, O Theotokos, them that honor thee. Let us pray to the Lord. O our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Master. Because if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and God believe in your heart that God raised him from the yeah. dead, but after they believe you proclaim the good tidings, good so tidings, the fulfillment of the gospel to the rest of our Lord Jesus Christ. And with the mouth, the confession of salvation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Then thy bones will keep prosperously and be king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wisdom, stand upright. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to Christ 
The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us attend. At that time, when Jesus came to the country of the Gergesenes, two demonics met him, coming out of the tombs, so fierce that no one could pass that way. And behold, they cried out, What have you to do with us? O Son of God, have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a herd of many swines was feeding at some distance from them, and the demons begged him, If you cast us out, Send us away into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and went in to the swine. And behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and perished in the waters. The herdsmen fled, and going into the city, they told everything and what had happened to the demoniacs. And behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood, and getting into a boat, he crossed over and came to his own city. He... In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is in every part of the Forgive me. One of the things that I always think about when we come to this particular gospel passage, and we hear this actually a couple of times during the year. Um, this time of the year, we hear it from Matthew. Um, but we will hear it a little bit later in the year when we finally turn to the readings of St. Luke and we'll hear his account of, the, of this particular same event as well. But one of the things that makes me ponder especially is that the crowd, when they come out and see what our Lord has done, when they see the demoniac sitting by the Lord's feet in his right mind, clothed, they then ask our Lord to leave. And so I pondered that a lot, meaning why, why would they ask the Lord to leave? And so when we look at this particular gospel passage, we can see that our Lord is a compassionate Lord. He's compassionate to anyone. He is willing to meet anyone in their need and to heal them. These two men, when they came out from the boats, greeted them. I say greeted, met them. They were known to be incredibly strong and exceedingly fierce, so much so that they could not be bound. They lived in the tombs. Other people avoided that area if possible. And although they were possessed by so many demons, he sees that these men 
down in their lowest level would like to, to, re, to uh, break away, to shake the slavery of the demons and be healed. But they are so beaten down that they are unable to resist the demonic attack. And our Lord meets them at that need and he heals them. When we were at the Parish Life Conference just a week or so ago, the theme of the Parish Life Conference is on the image and the likeness of God. And the keynote speaker there said a few interesting things that I think have a, a bearing on these two men. When we think about the image and the likeness of God, we also need to think about idols a little bit. Now, especially in the pagan world, but especially in the biblical times and not too far from that, an idol was something that hosted the God you worshipped. And so most people, you might say your day-to-day -day pagan, would go down to the market and buy an idol. And they would take this idol back to their home. They would find a space for it. And they have their idol there now, but now something needs to happen. Now they need their God to come and dwell in this particular idol. They have to take care of the idol. They need to feed and water the idol. They need to keep the idol clean. But they are waiting for their God, whatever God that is, to come into the idol and give it life. When we look at what our Lord did in the book of Genesis, he turns this idea of idolatry on its head. Because instead of us going down and getting an idol and waiting for the Lord God to enter into it, our Lord instead crafts the image of himself in us. He literally takes us from the dust of the earth and as even some of the, the hymns of the church and the Father say, crafted us like a potter. Uh, spinning clay on a wheel. He crafted us. And then when he had crafted the human being, Adam, he then breathed life into this particular, you might say, icon or idol that the Lord has made. Meaning us. Our Lord created us now to be the carrier of his image and likeness. And although we always carry the image of God inside us, it is now for us to make the likeness of him a reality in our lives. And so as we see when the Lord approaches these two men, the image of God is still inside them. But now instead of God as the likeness, they now have the demons taking over. And so our Lord can see, even through all this demonic possession, the legion of, of demons that are inside this man, he can glimpse through that, and he can still see the likeness, his, his, his image inside of them. And so the dark side of demon possession is that they beg the Lord to leave. They come up against the holiness of Christ and they wish him to leave. The demons wish to enslave us. The demons wish us to not live in nice places but in the tombs. Our, the demons wish instead of us to be in our right minds to live literally a form of insanity. And so the message of today's gospel then is, and especially I want to go back to the epistle reading now today, for Paul says, for Christ is the end of the law, that everyone who has faith may be justified. And if we look at that word justified, we need to maybe insert a slightly different phrase, or that is to be made right or accepted meaning to be made right with God, to be accepted by God. And then he goes on to say right after this particular passage, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, 
For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. Paul is saying here, and especially if you take this in the, in the realm of when Paul lived, that it was very accustomed to the fact that there were Jews and then there were the Gentiles. There were those people that were blessed and sanctified by God, and then there were those who were handed over to the rest of the world, the demonic world. But Paul was saying that this is not the case anymore, that there is no distinction now. Our Lord extends his mercy to all human persons. And if this is the case, if our Lord is willing to extend himself to every single person on this earth, no matter their politics, their ethnicity, their whatever, then that means that we also are now called upon to extend mercy and love to every human person we meet. And in a country, in a time when so many people are divided, it can be perceived that if we are kind even to somebody else who does not think the same way we do, or believes, or acts, who has different politics, that they have gone over to the dark side. And we would be tempted to ask them to leave. And it should be comforting to know that our Lord does not care about these distinctions, because if we look into ourselves, we are finding that we are haunted by the voices of the demons. They tempt us into actions and thoughts that do not become a Christian or even a human being. But our Lord is willing to heal us because no matter how far over into that darkness we travel, no matter how much we listen to the demons, we do not lose the image of God inside us. And so, it is up to us then to not ask God to leave. That even in our sinfulness, no matter how possessed we may feel, we need to invite God into our lives and in fact into our souls. Because when we refuse to be healed, when we refuse to try, we do ask our Lord to leave. We give in to our passions, to our angers, to our lusts, to our, our covetousness. And when we give in to those, then we are indeed asking God to leave. Lord, I love you, but I do not want you to be here right now. I'm busy sinning. When I'm done sinning, Lord, then it's fine. You can come back. But we have to ask God to enter our life, to put us back into our right mind, to literally heal us from our insanity. So my dear ones, especially when you think about this particular passage, remember that always, no matter our condition, no matter where we came from, no matter our politics, no matter what, our Lord is willing to come to us, and if we invite him, he is willing to heal us as well. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say, O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again we pray for our Father Metropolitan Sava. Again we pray for our brethren, the priests, our monks, deacons, our deacons, and monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, 
visitation, pardon, and forgiveness of sins for the servants of God, the newly illumined John, for Bryce coming to holy illumination, for the newly married Derek, John, and Isabella, and the newly married Paulina and Zach, for the upcoming marriages of Luis and Theodora, for Alexis and her unborn child, for Laura and her unborn child, for Elizabeth and her unborn child, Maria and her unborn child, for Nicolette and her unborn child, for Anastasia and her unborn child, for Veronica and her newborn child, for the priest Patrick, for Coria Christina, for the priest Mark, for Coria Joanna, for Reader Simeon, Stephen, Methodius, Isidore, Nikolai, for the priest Stephen, for Ruby, for Jonah and Elizabeth, and all those traveling to Camp St. Mary of Egypt, for Nicholas, Alexander, Matthew, Olivia, Zania, Miles, Aaron, Eric, Ethan, Aaron, Edric, Ross, Darlene, Jim, Beth, Bill, Mike, Larry, for the priest Wayne, for James, Antonia, for Lily, Alex, Jesse, Elena, Elena, Dimitri, Sergius, Markella, Bruce, Hilda, Melissa, Ruby, Nicholas, M Michael, Joseph, Juanita, Alex, Sandra, Stephen, Rick, for Eileen, Melody, Markella, for His Eminence, Bishop Joseph, for the for all those sub for Becky, Craig, Don, Anna, for Ratko, Glenda, Becky, Maria, Nicoletta and all Orthodox Christians of true worship who live and dwell in this community. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy church, and for the servants of God, for the newly departed James, for the newly departed Paul, for the newly departed Norma, for B Basil, David, Helen, Victoria, Iskander, Bella, Gamil, Karima, for Lonnie, Litsa, Pete, Colby, Brian, Dennis, and all of our fathers and brethren, the orthodoxy part of this life before us, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, those who serve and those who sing, and all who be filled present to aid thy great and rich mercy. God and love us mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, ye catechumens. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them that he will teach them the word of truth, that he will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he will unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy upon them, help them and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads in the Lord, ye catechumens. who dwellest on high and regardeth things below, who has sent forth as the salvation of the race of men, thine only begotten Son and God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Look down upon thy servants, the catechumens, who have bowed their necks before thee. Make them worthy in the due season of the labor of regeneration, the remission of sins, the robe of incorruption. Unite them to thy holy Catholic and apostolic church and number them with thine elect flock, that with us they may glorify thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. As many as our catechumens depart, depart catechumens, as many as our catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are of the faithful, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. For unto thee are to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. Wisdom. Guarded always by 
God am I, we may ascribe glory unto thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Metropolitan Saba, the Lord God, remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. O 
before the President of the United States, all civil authorities and our armed forces everywhere. The Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and under the ages of ages. For the servants of God, especially for all the campers, the clergy and the staff going to St. Mary of Egypt camp this summer, for Stephen Methodius and all those who are suffering from illness, or then those who care and pray for them, for the parish council, the choir, the readers, the chanters, the subdeacons, those who serve, those who clean, those who prepare, those who are donors, those who are benefactors, and those who minister in the ministries of this temple. For the suffering Christians in Palestine, Iraq, Egypt, Kosovo, Serbia, Syria, Macedonia, the Ukraine, and for our sister parishes, for Father Michael, and for the parish of St. Ignatius of Antioch, Father David, and the parish of St. Seraphimus Rock, Father Nectarios and the parents of Saints Constantine and Helen, that they may have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of sins. The Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. For the servants of God departed this life before us. The Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Thy priests of the Lord God remember the sight of the act of the Lord God. Always remember in the ages of ages. Always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thy priests of the Lord God, remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. complete our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and proper for our souls and peace for the whole world, let us ask of the Lord that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance all holy, immaculate, 
most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Peace be to all. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. Christ is in our midst. Christ is in our midst. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our glory came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end and I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord the giver of life who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, and I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. Sacrifice of praise, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks. Unto the Lord. We give thanks to 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 the Thanks unto thee and to thine only begotten Son and to thy Holy Spirit for all things of which we know and which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and unseen. And we give thanks also for this liturgy which thou didst vouchsafe to receive in our hands, even though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels, the cherubim, the seraphim, six winged, many eyed, soaring aloft, borne on their wings, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying.
this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sin. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Having in remembrance, therefore, the saving commandments and all those things that have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the third day, resurrecting the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming. Thine own, of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for rational and bloodless worship and we beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee send down thy holy spirit upon us and upon these gifts you have spread forth bless master the holy bread and make this bread to be the precious body of thy christ amen bless master the holy cup and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy christ amen bless master both changing them by thy holy spirit amen 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 that to those who shall partake thereof they may be under vigilance of soul unto remission of sins under the communion of thy holy spirit under the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven and the boldness for thee, not under judgment nor under condemnation. And again, we offer to thee this rational and bloodless worship for those who in faith have gone before us here to their rest. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially your all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Among the first be mindful, Lord, of our father and metropolitan Saba, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And to those who offer these precious gifts to the Lord our God, the honorable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, and every priestly and monastic order and of their salvation, of the peace and stability of the whole world, the good estate of the Holy Church of God, the salvation and help of the people here present, those whom they're remembering, and of all mankind. And of all mankind. Be mindful, Lord, of the city in which we dwell, and of every city and countryside, and those who in faith dwell therein. Be mindful, Lord, of those who travel by sea, by land, and air, the sick, the suffering, captives, and their salvation. Be mindful, Lord, of those who bear fruit and do good works in thy holy churches and who remember the poor, and upon us all send forth thy mercy. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify thee in all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And may thy Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. 
for the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God, who loveth mankind, having received them upon his holy, most heavenly, and ideal altar, as an aroma of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Unto thee we commend our whole life and hope, O Master, who lovest mankind, and we beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Thou save us to partake of thy heavenly and dread mysteries of the sacred and spiritual table of the pure conscience, unto remission of sins, unto pardon of transgression, unto communion of the Holy Spirit, unto the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, unto boldness for thee, not unto judgment, nor unto condemnation. And vow, safe, O Master, that and without condemnation, we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God and Father, and to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace be to all. Bow your heads unto the Lord. O Lord. We give thanks unto thee, O King Invisible, who by thy boundless power has made all things in the multitude of thy mercy has brought all things from nothingness into being. Do thou, thyself, O Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads unto thee, for they have not bowed down unto flesh, but unto thee, the fearful God. Therefore, O Master, do thou thyself distribute these gifts here spread forth unto all of us for good, according to the individual need of each. Voyage with those who sail by sea, journey with those who travel by land and air, heal the sick, thou who art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassions and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life, giving spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. God be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. God be gracious. Let us attend the holy things are for the holy divided and distributed in the Lamb of God who is divided, yet not disunited. Whatever he is never consumed, but sanctifieth those who are taken their life. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is come into the world to save sinners, of whom I am she. I believe this is truly the Lord.
forgive me, my brothers and sisters. Forgive me. Though I draw near to Christ, our mortal king, I die. In the precious and awful body of our Lord God, Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the most unending. Your worthy Christian life, your life everlasting. Praise the Lord. sins and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Orthodox Christian, and you have prepared yourself the recent confession and fasting and prayer.
God save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens and thy glory above all the earth. And unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast permitted us to partake of thy only divine immortal and life-giving victory. Establish us. Having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. We give thanks unto thee, O Master, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls, for thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear, guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, who blesses those, who bless thee, and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee. Save thy people, bless thine inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and recompense by thy divine power and forsake us not a hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy church, and to the priests, the civil authorities, the armed forces, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord the blessing of the Lord and his mercy be upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to, to the God, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May he who has risen from the dead, Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and laudable apostles of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we now celebrate through the grace of the holy transfiguration of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, of the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the higher martyr, Pankratos, the bishop of Teormina in Sicily, the venerable Photios, the venerable Dionysius, the orator, the first settler of the small saints, Anaskit on Athos, and his disciple, the venerable Metropolis. 
whose memory we celebrate in the ball of the saints, have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and love as mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Christ is in our midst. God bless all of you. Um, yesterday, we had a, uh, a fantastic time at the sing-off, and I, this is the one thing I've definitely remembered from now on, and that is, get ready, pick it up, and that, that way you're all ready, and then you can sing. So, this I know now. Um, and so, anyway, it was, it was great. We got to uh, come together socially, sing. It was fantastic. So, uh, we'll have more of those planned out in the future, right? Excellent. Um, this Wednesday, we have the... Uh, the Divine Liturgy, um, and that, and the Divine Liturgy especially is commemorated for St. Paisius of the Mount Athos. So if you are a Paisius, if you can come, please come. If you can't, then we'll pray for you. Um, that's right. Okay. On, um, also tomorrow morning, uh, the campers are leaving for St. Mary of Egypt camp. So please keep them in your prayer. We'll have uh, we'll come here to the church and bless all of them. I think it's here or is it at your house? Here. So here at when? 7 a.m. we're leaving. So not arrive at 7, 7 a.m. leaving. So we'll do that blessing around 6.30 or something like that here at the church for the campers. Um, and what else do we got? So uh, normal fasting schedule this week. Any other big announcements that we have? Uh, just another reminder, uh, Thursday, July 20th, is the uh, ladies' night of the parish, so it's going to be hosted at the Dowell home, so all the information is in the happenings. Um, if you could just either text or email me and RSVP, that would be great, and um, there will be food and uh, drinks there, um, but if you want to bring some of your own stuff, that'd be great, too. It's from about 7 to 9-ish, give or take, so um, yeah, we'll see you there. Mary, do you want to say something about uh, other, let me go, uh, Mary, about the, uh, the kids gathering on the 21st? Yes, that's what I, I'll Are you, oh, oh, that, either Mary, you can do that, yeah. <laughs> um, so on Friday, July 21st, at 12 o'clock, um, the homeschool group and father have graciously expanded their educational children series to all the community. We've had a request for... Um, Inviting all of the kids and their parents to pack a, pack a lunch. We're going to have lunch for about an hour or so, and at 1 o'clock, Father's End will do a lesson catered to all ages afterward. Um, we're hoping to make this a monthly occurrence, but we'll see how things go. We'll go from there. Um, an email with details was sent out last night, but if you have any questions, please email me. Thank you. Uh, so that's coming up, and then... Uh, Bryce over there will be baptized on the uh, on that Saturday, right after that, on the 22nd. Kuria, Michaela. Yeah, if you didn't, the, the parsonage is now empty, um, and so over the last week, uh, several of us have been gathering over there to help trim and, and mow and water and just kind of get it back up to looking beautiful again, but there's definitely some things that need to be done, so if you... You're you, still working over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and so, uh, yeah, and so, anything else that we have? Korea.
Thank, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, I think that's all we have. No catechumenic class today. And uh, do we have any uh, uh, name days or birthdays? Or we have Sisios over here. We have Paiosios, Paisios coming up here. Victoria, come on up here. And Michael, Michael Key had a birthday. Uh, we had, uh, where is he at? Oh, <laughs> he thought he could get away. Um, who else do we have? Anniversary, come on up. It was Killian yesterday. Excellent. Good job. Anybody else that we have? Sophroni? Mine is on Tuesday. It's on Tuesday? Okay. So come on up. We'll sing to you now. So let us. And then also, did we get uh, anybody who was an Elizabeth who came last week? Come on up so that we can get the Elizabeths in here. Good. And let us wish mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, and many years. God grant you many years, God grant you many years, God grant you many, many, many years. Glory to thee, O our God, glory to thee, glory to thee, O our God, glory to thee, glory to thee, O our God, glory to thee. Thank you, Lord, my God. Mercy of God is to be I think I was about to say, leave the unworthy, partake of thine immaculate and heavenly grace. For the Master who loves mankind, who did so die for us and rise again, and did bestow upon us things thy dread and life giving mystery for the benefiting and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Grant me to me also under the kingdom of soul and body, to the averting of everything contrary to truth, under the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, under the peace of my spiritual powers, under the faith unashamed. On a love unfeigned, on an increase of wisdom, on the fulfillment of thy commandments, on the growth of thy divine grace, and the attainment of thy kingdom, that preserved by them in thy holiness, I may ever remember thy grace, and henceforth live not to myself, but unto thee, our master and benefactor. And thus, when this life is ended, the hope of eternal life, I may attain to everlasting rest, where the voice of those sweet festivals unceasing, and allow those to behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is boundless. For thou art 